I've been studying tropical wildlife for over a decade. I've been working with the Tropical Ecology Assessment and Monitoring Network, which is the largest um, group of sites uh, using cameras in the world. And we're really interested in how humans are affecting animals. And so we look at na national, national parks um, and other protected areas. So this camera trap network was set out to try to understand how the species are doing, how the wildlife are doing, um, and how humans are affecting them. So we actually take the wildlife species we get from camera data and we combine that with another data set that rangers within the parks collect. Combining those two data sets, we can actually figure out what is the effect of something like poaching um, on the different wildlife species of the parks. So the team network has collected millions of images and those images get identified so we know which species are in which photo. And then we have a big database that we can analyze to try to understand what's happening to these species. And so you get these huge number of images that have to be identified um, and that's an, an undertaking in and of itself. And then after that, you've got basically big data for ecology um, that needs someone to analyze it. Our research in particular is at a really interesting intersection between uh, theoretical ecology and advancing actual knowledge of um, science, and then also the conservation applications are very important. So most of the work that we do are in preserved sites, uh, working with animals that are a lot of the times endangered. So this knowledge that we're gaining can definitely be implemented in a lot of ways, hopefully, um, for helping these animals survive in the long run. So it's really uh, phenomenal what this offers for conservation, potentially, to have a solid understanding of what's happening to these species that we can then base um, management actions on. Um, this kind of research is the first step, really, in being able to move forward in conservation.